Hello there, today I'm going to build a simple AM loop style antenna. I'm going to use commonly available and inexpensive materials. I'm going to show you how I built it and we're going to see how it works. This is the materials I'll be using. So I've got a box. It's roughly 12 by 12 square. Um, some nuts and bolts. I only need two. Um, here we've got an old gift bag that I'm going to cut up as cardstock, three envelopes, about 75 feet of wire, and some tin foil. So the trick here is, is that you measure your circumference of your box, you divide that by the length of your wire, and then you come up with your spacing for your, your wire, and you can see I've got about 3 8 inch between each um, wrap that I'm going to make. I'm just going to take a hacksaw and I'm going to saw slots in, in on each of my marks and those will be so I can wrap the wire in, into the box securely. Alright, so you see I cut my slots. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is with a sharpie, I'm just going to put a couple marks here. And those will represent some holes where the wire will feed in uh, later. I'll use a uh, poker tool, not this one. It's got a bend on it, but something straight to poke a hole in here. And I will actually poke a couple holes just so to keep the wire taut on there. And then I'll wind the wire around there and we'll see what the next step looks like. All right, so you can see that I've uh, got all the wire wrapped around. Um, let's take a look at this detail here real quick. So it goes in and then out and then in again. This space right here will keep it from loosening up and then attached to that is the rest of this lead. Um, these two wires here will then attach to the capacitor that I'm gonna build. And that's the next thing, so I'm going to cut uh, cut up this bag here so that the strips that I cut fit inside of these envelopes and they need to be a little bit shy because uh, the strips are going to be wrapped with tin foil and then what happens ultimately is that it's going to slide back and forth to form that capacitor and that will help with the, the tuning part of it. All right, so now that I've cut all the cardstock to size, I'm going to remove the cardstock, group all the envelopes together, and then I'm going to cut a corner off. Uh, the reason for doing that is then once I have the stock wrapped with aluminum foil, it will expose the, quote, conductors. So that's what I'm going to do next. I have the cards covered, I'm just going to slide them into the envelopes and then seal them. So now I've got the three envelopes as my capacitor. They're going to be taped together and then this middle one here will slide back and forth. And then I will mount them, mount it to the box here put the wires through and then it'll be ready to test. All right, I've poked two holes in the box and I've threaded the leads through now. The next step I'm gonna do is mount the capacitor here. And then I'm gonna take this hardware and I'm gonna stick one bolt through here and one bolt through here. And then this thing will be ready for testing. All right, there's the finished product. So we're gonna try it out and see how it works. Here we go with the antenna now in operation. So the theory is that you line, initially line up the antenna perpendicular to the radio. Um, as you probably know, all AM antennas are directional. So if you don't get a signal, then you, or a good, good enough signal then you start moving things around including the box 
and then ultimately you fine tune um, with the capacitor. Honestly though, um, I've tried three different radios. I've tried this one, I've tried the one you're hearing, and I've tried my C Crane, and I haven't found that the antenna really makes much of a difference at all. And the reason that I'm posting this is I'm hoping that maybe people will see it and give me some tips on what I'm doing wrong or how to improve it. And so, um, anyway, just a quick, easy little project to, to play around with. And thanks for joining me.